Well, as we first showed you last week, the story of this year's crop may be the surprising impact of disease, and it's hurting areas that have not seen disease like southern rust ever before. Here's a look at what scouts saw last week on Pro Farmer Crop Tour, and farmers tell us since then the situation has exploded in many fields. But is it too late to save the crop, or would a Hail Mary fungicide application still work? That's exactly what Farm Journal's Rhonda Brooks asked Missy Bauer. So if I had a field that has no fungicide at all on it, and I went out there and I had fairly heavy disease pressure of something like southern rust um, or tar spot in that case, and I'm at early R4, so the front side of dose stage, I would still apply the fungicide. But that's kind of about my breaking point. Once we get too far into R4, later into dose stage, or even early dent, I think it's going to just get a little more challenging to get the payback consistently. I'm not saying we haven't. We've had plots that we've applied at early dent, which is R5, um, and we've seen seen a nice response. So, it, But a little more tricky. What's the environment like after that? Do we got good you know, environment, good weather to finish the crop at that point. And are you able to kind of control what's there? But for the most part, we'd like to have that fungicide on, you know, by kind of early dose yeah. stage, early R4, um, to get our bigger bang for the dollar. But I do believe when it comes to some of these diseases, especially like southern rust, like tar spot, that a little bit of a Hail Mary pass we have seen in the plots is effective you know is it as effective as if you'd have done it timely well no you could have made more money doing it timely but you're still protecting bushels and gaining roi at the end bauer says there's so much yield on the back end of the season developed in these newer hybrids that farmers plant today she says it is essential to protect that yield potential if you can but another battle for farmers right now, late season weeds are popping through the soybean canopies and tall green weeds standing out in browning cornfields. But experts we spoke to said not so fast on those so-called revenge applications for weeds. Unfortunately, I think that it's causing concern where concern doesn't need to be had because anything that's that's going to affect yield at this point has already been done. So, you know, earlier competition is really what's going to compete with the soybean. So there's there's not a lot of yield competition right now with, with those weeds. Um, secondly, any herbicide application that would be made now, almost every single one is going to be off label. So then we're looking at off label applications. By the way, when it comes to diseases like southern rust, I think farmers and a lot of us are learning a lot this year. But in severe cases, the disease can wipe out 45 percent of the yield potential in a field. But in fields where farmers have southern rust and tar spot, the hit to yield could be even more severe than that. All right, that's it for U.S. Farm Report this weekend. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to join us again next weekend right here in the studio as we work to build on our tradition. Have a great weekend, everyone. U.S. Farm Report is produced and distributed by Farm Journal Broadcast.